Good evening and welcome to Monday Evening Vespers for the first Monday of Lent. And it's good to welcome so many of you to our time of giving thanks to God for another beautiful day and for God's abundance and for Brother Sun and Sister Moon. We light this light for each one of you gathered here and for all the brothers and sisters of our community, but especially for those who are committed to intercessory prayer, God's gift to our heart for the whole family of God, of all faiths and none. So welcome, dear friends, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and our evening prayer this evening is, as I've explained, is the traditional office of monks and nuns who've embraced the monastic life in the Catholic Christian Church. And now for our, our entrance. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now for our special hymn, Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sin. From earthborn passion set me free and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with care and war oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray through darkness and perplexity. Point thou the heavenly way. And now we come to our first antiphon from Monday Vespers. Bear with me, my pages are sticking again. I should be there now. Ah, oh, here we are. Okay. The Lord cares for the weak and for the oppressed. And now we read Psalm 10 from the Old Testament Bible. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. And the Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Let us pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord cares for the weak and for the oppressed. The second antiphon, blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. And now we read Psalm 14. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbor, who holds the godless in disdain, but honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent. Such a man will stand firm forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And the third antiphon, God chose us in his Son and made us his adopted sons and daughters. And now we have a canticle reading from Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 10. Blessed be the God and Father Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious name, which he freely bestowed upon us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God chose us in his Son and has made us his adopted sons and daughters. And now for our reading for Lent. It's from Paul to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. My brothers and sisters, I implore you by God's mercy to offer your very selves to him, a living sacrifice, dedicated and fit for his acceptance, the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature dust transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and know what is good, acceptable, honourable and just. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord. Have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Magnificat Antiphon for this Monday evening, the first week of Lent, reads, Anything you did for the least of these who are mine, you did for me, says the Lord. And now I would like you to join me for the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, you and me, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham, and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Anything you did for the least one of these who are mine, you did it for me, says the Lord. And now we come to our evening intercessions. 
Let us call on the name of the Lord Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who saved his people from their sins. Response. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon us. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon us. Christ our Lord, you gave yourself up for the church to make her holy. Renew her once more through the spirit of repentance this Lent. Response. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. Good Master, let young people discover that way of life which you have planned for each one of them. May they be faithful to your grace and fulfill your will for them. Response, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Give hope to the sick and make them well again. Help us to comfort and take care of them. Response, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon us. In baptism, you made us all sons and daughters of the Father, Mother, God. May we live for you now and always. Response, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon us. Grant to the faithful departed peace and glory. Let us reign with them one day in your heavenly kingdom. Response, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon us. And we bring all the children of God from all faiths known to God, who know God by one of his many different names. We pray this night for interspiritual unity within this beautiful family of God, where judgment is no longer a thing of the present but the past, and where we embrace one another, but really we are embracing our Father, Mother, God, in the presence of Christ and all the great spiritual teachers. Response, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us tonight. So now let us be still, my dear friends, as we gather our thoughts and come into the presence of Christ. And whatever may be troubling us or that we are worried about, let's name it, release it, having blessed it, and give it now to God in a mindset of gratitude. Let us do that now. This evening, we bring each one of you, together with all those who will click on the link on our YouTube channel and join us for evening prayer. But we pray especially this evening for those men and women who have heard the call of God and who've responded and who've committed their life to intercessory prayer for the whole family of God, not just for Buddhist or Christian or Jew or Muslim, or Baha'i, but for every child of God, regardless of their color, their creed, their ethnicity or lifestyle choice. We thank the brothers and sisters of our community who have given their lives for interspiritual unity as directed by Jesus and Francis at the tomb of Francis in Assisi in 2008. We don't seek the glamour and the fame to appease our ego in the world. Our ministry is very much behind closed doors, where throughout the night and day, we keep vigil with the Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane, and we give our life for interspiritual unity and global peace in the Cathedral of God. So we pray now this evening for our brothers and sisters in our community who are weary and heavily burdened and under attack, for those who are unwell, like dear sister Miriam in New Zealand, for brother Harry battling mental health issues. We pray especially for our, our beautiful novices and postulants, for dear Nancy in Mexico, and for her family in America, not forgetting Mark and his partner Audrey, for dear sister Jacqueline in Idaho and her, all her family, and her 91-year-old mom who's still driving, well done her. 
We remember dear sister Buffy in New York State, hoping to move to the Mia Baba Center anytime this month. We pray also for dear brother Paul. We've got several friends who are called brother Paul, but we remember brother Paul, our Buddhist monk who lives with us. We pray for his family. We pray for dear brother Brian, hoping he's feeling better soon. And we give thanks for hearing from brother Liam, who's on holiday in Ireland, saying his farewells, I would imagine, and who's having three weeks off. Well done you, dear brother Liam. And for dear sister Jane in Coventry and the great work she does there. And we pray that her energy levels will return to normal. We pray for dear Diane and Lee and her daughter Kelly and for her friends and family. We pray a prayer of gratitude that dear sister Olivia is, is improving and looking a lot better. We pray for brother Rob and pray that his cough will settle. For brother Murray, for sister Laura in Manchester, who does great work with children there. We pray for dear sister Elaine and Peter Lee and for her mom and family. And we remember dear Eric in Sweden and his sister Eva. We remember dear Maggie Woodall in London and her family. And we pray for the soul of our dear, of our dear son tragically killed in Arnhem. And for sister Jane's aunt Jenny. We remember our dear neighbour Cathy who's been rendered blind through prescribed medication and who's doing really well adjusting to this new life. We pray for dear, for our dear sister of the Third Order of Francis in Winnipeg, Canada, and her son Daniel and her brother Faustian. And there are so many more to pray for, so we bring them all to the Lord, including Margaret Starbert's husband who had a stroke early last year. So let us bring now all our requests and the many, many souls who ask for prayer. Let us bring them now into the presence of Christ, into the presence of the Lord Buddha, Vishnu, Ganesh and Krishna. Let us be still. Father, Mother, God, you have called each one of us here by name. You have placed it on our heart to act as an intermediary with your children and for your children, especially those who are battle-weary like our dear neighbour Nori next door, who's recovering from bowel cancer and who lives on her own at 85. For my dear brother Shay, still in intensive care in Dublin. And for the many who are dying this night alone, for our young people, many of whom are discouraged and suicidal, many are on drugs and many are struggling. We pray for them and for our homeless and for the many who do good works behind closed doors and for our beloved animal kingdom. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed, be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here tonight our daily bread and food for wisdom and thought. Forgive us for the times when we try to out-clever you in our stubbornness, in our selfishness, in our disobedience, and when we fail in charity, in thought, word and deed. Forgive us for the times when we've sat in judgment on another, for the times when we failed you, and yet you still offer us your hand of friendship. Lead us not astray, O Christ, but deliver us and protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair, and the antics of the Antichrist, who seeks to dethrone us from your place of love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And instead of the prayer from the divine office, I'm going to read this. God tests our faith from Islam. Do men imagine that they will be left because they say we believe and will not be tested with affliction? 
Lo, we tested those who were before you, thus God knows those who are sincere and knows those who feign. And from Christianity we read, For verily I say unto you, that what, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And from Buddhism, there is a saying in Tibetan, tragedy should be utilized as a source of strength. No matter what sort of difficulties, however painful experience is, if we lose our hope, that's our real disaster. So on that note, we say, go in peace to love, to serve our God, a God who has many names. And it's still the one true loving God who's called you and me by name to surrender our heart to divine love. Amen. And now for the Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family. The gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom. And may the love of your God, Goddess, reign supreme in your heart this night. And do not allow any negative thought or the illusions of fear alienate you from your beloved. Amen. And now, Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace, the peace of our God reign supreme in your heart, in your life, in your mind, within your family, and within your sanctuary of peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you and thank you for sharing Evening Vespers with us.